These are intermediate to advanced drills. They're in no particular order of difficulty. For the more advanced ones, you'll need three balls. So get three tennis balls that are of relatively equal newness so that they bounce relatively equally. Of course, as you get more advanced with them, you can change up the size and newness of the ball because that'll just add an extra layer of complexity. But when you're first learning these, you want to make sure that just open a new tin of tennis balls or get three that are, have been used relatively the same amount. Okay, we'll warm up with a couple that have been used in our last hand-eye coordination video. So we'll start with two balls, and you're just going to alternate dribbling them or alternate bouncing and catch them, okay? So first you can delay the pause between releasing the subsequent ball, and then you want to get to where it's almost a dribble, but not quite. You're still catching and releasing, but it's more rhythmic. As one's coming up, the other one's starting its descent downward. Then you can try mounting both together and catching them at the same time. And then you're going to go back to alternating, but no catch and release. This time you're going from catch and release to straight dribbling. So you have to keep them going. Takes more coordination, more eye, more vision. Next one you need the three balls. So the idea here is to bounce one ball in the middle, bounce the other two, and catch them, and then let the other ball drop once more before you catch it. Okay, bounce, two. The ball that you bounce first gets an extra bounce before you catch it on the first variation. The second variation is to catch that first ball before it bounces a second time. and two tennis balls for the first drill. So you're going to stand in relatively close in the beginning and try to toss them both simultaneously off the wall, so not one, two. The idea with this is you want to focus on both at the same time and catch them both at the same time. So you start in close and you gradually back up. Try to catch both balls at the same time. Next, you're going to use the wall and three tennis balls, and we'll call this one the revolving door. So you're throwing, it's like you're juggling kind of off the wall, throwing the ball. So you're going to start with two in the off hand, one in the dominant hand. You're going to throw the ball. As it's going to the wall, you need to pass one of the balls from the other hand over and throw it and keep that cycle going. So the ball's going like this. Okay, so let me just try to show you. You're gonna let the ball bounce on this one. So throw it directly off the wall and let it bounce before you catch it. do both sides. So that time you leave the throwing arm in the right arm. Make sure you can do it on the left side as well. For an extra challenge on the revolving door variation, you can do it so that as the ball comes in, the throw is behind the back instead of straight up. So let's try this. And again, I always make sure you 
both sides. door close to the wall without allowing a bounce so you're just tossing it at the wall this I actually find more difficult at least on my non dominant side because I don't know you have less reaction time with the bounce you have a bit more time to react see each ball but this one just coming right at you I think you have to be more precise because you don't have enough time to chase the ball down if you need to so I'll try to give you a demo while on the ground. So start with just one and you need to control it low to the ground. This should be relatively easy for most. And then you can try closer to the ground with a faster tempo. Do both sides just to get a feel for it. Then you can bring in a second ball. Dribble them at the same time. So you're not catching and releasing, you're bouncing, dribbling, alternate, you can one, two, and try to switch it back and forth between double and alternate. Okay, then you can try Controlling the ball around your legs is something common to do with a basketball, but with a tennis ball, it takes a little bit more finer touch. And the idea is not to grab the ball at all. You don't want to palm it or cup it. You just want to keep control it with your fingertips. Mimic dribbling a ball as much as possible. Use both your dominant and non dominant hand because you want to develop both sides of the brain and both sides of the body as equally as possible. Don't be one sided. These are particularly good for basketball players, but actually, any racket sport, any, any sport involving hand eye coordination, the use of a ball with or without a racket, with or without a stick, this will improve because it's just improving your, um, your sense of distance, your sense of timing, your sense of rhythm, your peripheral vision, your reaction time, and your coordination. So give these a try and hopefully you found part two challenging and useful. Peace.